Hey, Herons. My name's Cole. And my name's Koa. And welcome, welcome to this, this week's, week's episode. episode. Let's start this episode off with a random fact. Uh, here is your random fact of the episode. Did you know that chickens dream when they sleep? Like humans and other mammals, they exhibit rapid eye movement while sleeping, an indication of dreaming. That was a nice fact. Exactly, man. Now I'm in need of a joke. Me too. Let's head on over to the joke of the day. Hi, my name's Archer, and here's your joke of the day. For years, I've suspected that my mom has been adding soil to my garden. When I asked her about it, she just shrugged. The plot thickens. And that was your joke of the day. So funny. I'm laughing so hard. That was funny. Anyway, I wonder what the weather's like. <laughs> okay, sure. Wow, the weather looks insane. Isn't it right, Cole? Insane indeed. Whether or not the weather's wintry or spring-like, with March finally upon us, it means only one thing. Spring break is right around the corner? It sure is. And the week after that, our track and field season begins. Let's check in with our track coaches to learn about how to get involved. Well, hey, Mr. Peterson. I really like your sweatshirt. Why, thank you, Mr. Oliver. It's perks of uh, joining track. That's right. You know, so, Herons, we have a track and field team, if you didn't already know. And we had such a good time last season, didn't we? Yeah, I think we should show them some highlights. Yeah, let's take a look at those. <laughs> If track and field sounds good to you, we have a meeting coming up on March 13th, right after school in the nest, where you and your parents can come and get all the information you need. And if you, and if you can't make that, you can always find all the information on our website. But one of the things you gotta make sure you have is you wanna have an updated physical. Eighth graders, if you're coming back, make sure you got your physical in sixth grade. You might wanna update that before you can get in. And if you haven't had a physical yet, you can get, find all the information in the office or on the website about how to do that. At uh, Nelson High School, they even have a health center where you can get your physical scheduled so they can be ready to go because track season starts on April 1st. No kidding, it really does. It does. So no. right after spring break, our track season is going to start and we can't wait to see you on the track. See you there, Herons. So join the track and field team. Us Herons have a long tradition of victory. I wonder if he'll be victorious in this week's Heron College drawing. I think it's time we found out in this week's Heron Callouts. Congrats to all those who have won. Remember, Herons, to pick up your prize at the main office. I'm really questioning why I never win. Speaking of questions, let's go ask the Herons some. What's your favorite movie theater snack? Popcorn. Uh, Skittles. What's your favorite movie theater snack? Uh, I like two pounds of oranges. What's your favorite movie theater snack? Um, m and peanut m and Popcorn. I'm popcorn. I don't know. Butter popcorn. Bunch of crunch. What's your favorite movie theater snack? Um, popcorn. What's your favorite movie theater snack? Popcorn. Oh um, my guess popcorn. Skittles. Popcorn. What's your favorite movie theater snack? 
Crayola Cran. Excellent answer, Terrans. I concur. Now I believe it is time for the hot seat. Yes! Hello and welcome to the hot seat. This week we have a mystery contestant. Will they survive? First question, mystery or science fiction? Science fiction. Video games or board games? Board games, I guess. I don't know, I'm nervous. Orange Fanta or Sprite? Uh, Sprite. Inside or outside? Outside. Pool or beach? Beach. Trailer camping or tent camping? Tent camping. YouTube or TikTok? TikTok. Reading or sleeping? Sleeping, though. Cars or trucks? Cars? Running or walking? Walking. You survived the hot seat. <laughs> I wonder who that was. Yeah, me too. But I guess the Herons won't find out until next week. Hey, Kelly, did you hear about the battle coming in HVMS? A battle? What do we need to do to, to prepare ourselves? We don't need to do anything other than support the Herons participating in this year's Oregon Battle of the Books. Phew. I was nervous for a minute there. How do we support them? Let's check in if the coach, Ms. Schmidt, to learn about the event happening this weekend. Hey everyone, this week is our school OBOB competition. We are so excited, so if you see our friends in their green shirts running around the halls, make sure to cheer them on. And on Saturday, here at HVMS, we are hosting the regional competition for Oregon's Battle of the Books. See you later. Good luck, Herons, at your OBOB competition. Best of luck, readers. May the odds ever be in your favor. Was that her game reference? I thought it was a good time to drop that one. Hi, my name is Karen Pham, and welcome to this week's quote of the week. This week quote comes from Frederick Douglass. He was significant because he embraced the women's rights movement and also helped people on the Underground Railroad. He once said, the white man's happiness cannot be purchased by a black man's misery. And that was your quote of the week. Have a great day, Hans. I'm Riker. And I'm Max. Hey Max, do you know about the upcoming dance? That's right, the dance is on March 15th, 6 to 8 p.m. For food, there'll be pizza, pop, and tons of cool snacks in the student store. There'll be a movie room, a photo booth, and the gym will be open for basketball and volleyball. The theme is going to be Color, color blast. blast. Make sure your whole outfit is only one color. We can't wait to see you there. Have, Have a great, great day, day, Herons. Sadly, Herons, our time together has come to an end. Like all amazing things should, right? Sure. Anyway, have a have great, great day, Herons. Make sure to like and subscribe.